Okay, so here's a good example of the real world of Tony Walker Financial. We're getting back to our Tony in the Trenches where these two folks are having a wonderful time and all of a sudden he passes away. And there she is now at age 65 to go it alone. Folks, this happens all the time. And this may be you right now. Maybe you've been recently widowed. Uh, Maybe you're worried about something happening to your spouse and you don't understand the finances. Maybe both of you don't know much about what's going on. And you really need a game plan and a retirement planning specialist to help you see and visualize not only what you're going to do with the money now, but how to set up a game plan to continue to use and enjoy that money when, not if, when something happens to one of the partners in this relationship. So let's kind of go over the numbers they had. So before he passed away, and I'm just going to ballpark these so we can do the numbers real quick, he was drawing $3,000 a month in Social Security. She was drawing $1,500 a month, okay? Let's kind of look at the parameters. He had a pension of another $3,000 a month, and he had what's called a 50% survivor option, meaning at his death, his wife would get $1,500 a month. Okay, bear with me. Savings, they had about $50,000 over at the local bank. Their house was paid for. You're going to see in a minute another reason why it's a good idea to try to get that house paid for in retirement. $500,000 with no debt and roughly $500,000 in a 401k plan that had recently been transferred over to a big money manager who was charging a boatload of fees to manage the money. And when I asked what the game plan was, they had none. So basically, we're now assuming this person passed away. Remember our Tony in the Trenches. This actually happened. Could happen to you. So we got to understand what's going to happen when one of these folks dies. Well, immediately when he passed away, she lost her Social Security. So all of a sudden, imagine you're a widow and you've got $1,500 a month less to live on. Plus, his pension changed. He was drawing $3,000 a month for them to enjoy. At his death, it became 50% of that. So now she's, she had before, what is that, uh, 4500 plus another 3000 What is that, 7500 a month? Now all of a sudden she's down to $4,500 a month. That's $3,000 a month of a financial haircut she just took. The savings, she was left with about thirty five. They had not paid or pre-planned their funeral, so they had to use some money to bury their young man. Uh, $500,000 home. The good thing is here, we have talked about her downsizing. She wanted to get closer to her kids. We're going to figure out a way to take some of that equity and help beef up her savings and try to make up some of this lost income. We're going to show how that works. And more importantly, this 401k, now an IRA, is going to be transferred over into her name and put this up full screen here. And we're going to be able to take that 401k from that money manager with all that risk and fees. We're going to put it in our split IRA concept. We're going to lower those fees And we're going to show her how to have access to her money. And also with those beloved annuities we're going to put in there, we're going to show her how she can enjoy for the rest of her life without the fear of one day running out of money. So that sounds like you right now. Maybe you're a widow, widower. Maybe you're married, but you're worried about, hey, if something happens to one of us, I need to have a game plan that I can still use and enjoy this money without this fear of one day running out we would like to be of help. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed that video. If you'd like, check out these other clips and be sure to hit that like button and that subscribe button for more videos.